purpose of our video today is to show you how to hold a dog appropriately when you're um, holding her with one hand. So it's something called leash locking. And to see how it is, it's in my hand like so. But I'll give you a little rundown. If I hold the lead real tight like this, she starts to pull. What happens is my hand starts to slip. And for obvious reasons, I've then lost control over the dog. Leash locking, you put it through your thumb like so. You double it up so it's around the hand. And then I hold with my palm always facing down. I generally try not to hold the lead with my palm facing up. So it generally tenses up all my muscles in my arms and my shoulders. And I'm putting too much tension on the lead there. But if I hold like this, as if I was going to hold a bicycle handle, that way I'm a lot more secure and, and um, firm in the hands. If I leash lock it like so, and then a dog tries to pull, that's just not going to come through my hand because I've got a nice good grip on it. As I was just saying previously, if you're holding the lead like this, she starts to pull, and that lead will then slip through your hands and see you later, and resulting in some friction and rope burn in your hand there as well. So. I'm going to give you a quick little demonstration of both as I walk up and down, just so you guys can see it in action. Remember, when you've got the lead, I put it through. If, this, if the lead's a little bit longer, I like to then double it up, put it through the hand so it's leash locked, and my palm facing down like I'm, as if I'm pushing, um, I'm holding a, a, a bicycle handle. So as I walk, Nice and firm in my hand there, and I'm very relaxed and I'm comfortable. If I want to hold with one hand, I put it through the thumb like so, I double it up, and I've got it nice and firm there. So when leash locking with one hand, got the long lead like the lead like so which is a little bit longer if I hold at the end here I don't want her to be running around me getting between my legs and then she sees a dog and she starts pulling and gaining momentum on the lead and it's gonna pull it out of my hand so if you're gonna hold with one hand you put it through the thumb like so you double it up you let it go through you put your hand as if you're gonna give a thumbs up and then you have it nice and firm with your thumb flush with your fingers there and that way then no matter how hard she pulls you can see how I've got a lot more better grip on that. Same before, if you hold your lead flat in your hand like so and you're walking down the street, you know, a big strong dog like herself, she starts pulling and pull, the lead's gonna pull through, it's gonna give you rope burn, it's gonna slip through your hand, then you've created less distance between the dog and herself and look like her, she's a little bit reactive to dogs, so it's important that we've always got a nice and close next to us. And when, no matter what sort of technique you're doing, if you haven't got good management, using the right lead, leads and using the right collars and the right technique of how to hold the lead, then you're just not going to really have a better control over it. So most dogs end up in the shelter or on death row or just in trouble just from the councils and you know within our community is because, yes, of course, training, rehabilitation and early socialization is very important, but management. If we're not managing any, um, any of our dogs, then our dogs are never really going to be um, under our control effectively. And then... Um, they're going to result in some sort of bad incident. So today's lesson is that leash locking either in one hand or when you're holding it with two hands. So that way then when you're walking, you've got it nice and firm in your hand and she's not going to be running off. One more variation of how to hold the lead when you're holding it with two hands is you leash lock the loop in the lead here. And when you're at towards the end of um, the, lead, the, the hand closer to the dog, you then leash lock it as well there. So you've leash locked both sides, and that way there, if she pulls you really unexpectedly with a lot of force and intensity, then you've got that, um, that lead closed on your hand. So you see our double leash lock? And I'll show you how that looks like while we walk. nice and tight in our hand there so to see that closely one more time like you're putting a thumbs up and then you pull the lead through so your thumb is flush with your hand and then same thing on this one thumb up nice and flush now we're there we've got the double leash lock 